Welcome to the thoughts that I would like to share with you today. I'm thinking about drama addiction. Yep, I have found a new diagnosis and this is called drama addiction. What do you think that is? I observe that we seem to have nowadays, I don't know how it was anymore in back then in the days, but nowadays I feel we we get stressed out and put ourselves under a lot of pressure because we somehow think that every second has to be filled with content, with something. Everybody wants to tell their stories, which I like which I find good. I like that people stand up now and that they give their truth a voice. What I experience as a disbalance, that's me personally, is that we focus a lot on the drama part of it. Look, the fact that our news are so filled with drama and not enough, I think, with the good stuff. There's so much good stuff happening. Why is the news filled with all that crap, with all that fear? And it has to be dramatic somehow in order to mean something in some way. Otherwise, it's not um, worth being reported. I think in the long run that, that over over um, stimulates oh my English is getting better and better it over stimulates the nervous system and then we are totally blown in our fuses you know we get overwhelmed we don't want to hear anything at all anymore we don't want to have the good stuff and we don't want to have the bad stuff because we have a drama overload but something inside us seems to have problems to be in the silence in the stillness and I think our mind had problems in the past with that when we were living in a non-enlightenment, whatever that means. And now, when we have a little bit time, look, when I don't feel every, where every second here with my words, of course I want that when I share my thoughts so that it's not so long for you, but actually it would be worth just to Look between the words, into the space, into the nothingness, the silence. And not trying to be addicted to that drama all the time, to that story all the time, that everything needs to be filled with noise. And when you look into the universe, Mostly there's nothing, there's empty space, darkness, and then there's a planet or a sun or a moon every now and then, and a black hole and stuff, supernovas, but mostly there's nothing. So what do we find? What do we find when we go into this emptiness into the stillness. What do you find right now? And I want to watch myself more and more that when there is stillness in my life that I enjoy it, that I don't try to fill it. When I'm with someone I love in my environment that I don't have to talk all the time, that, that there's stillness, so that it's like having one person and another one, having one word and another one, and in between in this stillness, 
something magical here can unfold. What do you think? Thanks for listening. <laughs>